Hello everyone, it's Bernina Jeff from High Fashion Sewing Machines in Grand Junction, Colorado. I am a Bernina dealer. I am not an employee of Bernina. I'm needing to say that now. But today we have a project. It is an industrial machine, a DY337, and I'm going to resurrect this thing. It's been sitting out in the rain and the elements. It does turn, but uh, I'm going to need to do some cleaning on it first. It uh, weighs about 60 pounds and uh, it uh, needs a little attention. So this is going to be a series that uh, we're going to show you as it comes along. So I'm first, I wish I had brake clean because one of my favorite videos that I watch is Rain Man Ray's Auto Mechanics and he does, da -da -da, he does brake cleaner on everything. So I am going to uh, do a brake cleaner right here. So we're gonna go ahead and Oh, goodness sakes, this guy has been in the, uh, on the shelf way too long. It doesn't have any power. Well, we're going to go ahead and let it do its job as much as it can. I have the uh, air compressor. Well, it's doing a job here. It's getting this stuff off. So we have the air compressor going. So as soon as I get this pretty well rain, you know, saturated, it's actually raining out here. It is Grand Junction, Colorado, and it's January 2nd, 19, or 2023, and it's raining in Colorado. Go figure. We're kind of a little banana belt here of Western Colorado. We're only 23 miles from the Utah border. So, you know, we're on the other side of the Rockies compared to Denver and all the big cities. So now I am probably gonna have to put you guys down for a second while I lay this on on its back to give it an underbelly bath. Oh, I didn't have to put you guys down at all. Somebody planned this out pretty well. So the underside of these machines are fairly simple. They have a couple rods that uh, drive the feed dogs and a shaft that drives the hook. And uh, it needs to be very clean and it needs to be lubricated and we'll see how this oops sorry how the air compressor cleans out all this stuff so we're going to go into my little shop outside shop area here where I do my scissor sharpening hang on don't get seasick that's my breeding bus so I walk in here I have my scissor sharpening station here that gets scissors twice as sharp. So let's grab the uh, air compressor and uh, might be a good idea to unplug it first. And it's got the uh, air nozzle on it. This is one of my favorite statements. There you go. And when I really need time to myself, I go throw axes at the out of targets. All right, back to the sewing machine. Let's see if we have some pressure in this now. I don't know how Raymond does this. He does all his car mechanics one hand. What happened is the uh, the stuff dried before I got it to blow away. So let's just do little set segments of it. But you get the idea. And blow uh, inside there. So this is part one. I will uh, keep you informed on how this guy turns out. He probably will be spinning like a top in no time. And uh, once again, bringing a Jeff. Bye-bye.